The bittern had been hiding behind the reeds in front of Islandmere for some time before it eventually decided to wander out. It didn't seem too interested in fishing, it was just taking a walk across in front of the hide. I love watching bittern moving around like this, their long feet, they always look prehistoric to me. Once again, it shows how easily it can stand still and how flexible its neck is, stretching further and further as it watches something. quite how it manages to keep on stretching, I have no idea. But soon it's back to wandering across the surface, one big foot in front of the other, long talons on the end of its toes.